Hi everyone, it's Evangeline right here at eTrailer.com. Today we are cooking up something fun. So we have the BioLite Fire Pit Plus. This is going to be a portable fire pit that uses charcoal, uses wood, but something that's going to be a little bit different is that it also uses fans powered by its own battery to make sure that you're not smoked out at the campsite. I'm grilling up some chicken kebabs today here at E Trailer. If you want to see how I got this all set up, let's go take a look. So we're going to start by setting up our campsite. I have a bunch of add-ons here that are not included with the Fire Pit Plus, but I highly recommend including in your setup. The carrying case is one of the add-ons I highly recommend getting because this is going to fit around all your other add-ons like your fire pit cover. This will keep everything contained once you start using it. This will help prevent mess and debris from getting all over the place. We also have our fire pit mat and this is going to be recommended if you want to set up in an area that has a sensitive terrain. For example, if you want to set this up on your deck or on grass, this will keep the heat up and not down. So start by popping out the legs of the fire pit. One, two, three, and four. Bringing it back over, this is when we decide how we're going to set up our fire pit. So we have two options here. If you have firewood, then your bottom grate is going to be in the lowest position. Today, we are going to be using charcoal, so I'm going to lift the hangers up and then clip them onto the hooks so that they are in a raised position. Without all the firewood and charcoal in, we're able to see the tubes that will be circulating air. You're going to have a main tube in the bottom, but then you're also going to have two tubes on the side of the fire pit. So when you have charcoal, this will help minimize the smoke output and keep things contained. Once your fire starts going, you're now ready to start grilling. Let's turn that fan on. Your fan speed is adjusted here with this power button. So it does stay on once it hits temperature, but you can adjust the speed from low all the way up to high with there being four intervals between. With the fan blowing, it's gonna keep all that smoke in. We see heat waves, but not necessarily smoke coming out of our fire pit. And on a windy day like this, that's great. This will adjust the speed for you, but some tips that I've learned is when I'm done grilling, I like to set it to the highest setting, and that will help burn up the fuel faster so I don't have to sit around as long waiting for it to go. Something I like to use is the add-on accessory, which is our fire pit poker. And you don't have to use this, but this helps with using the grate. So you can grill your items on top of that grate, and then you can also move the grate over if you want to adjust or work away at the logs or the coals underneath. On its own, this is going to be great for grilling, for hanging out by the fire, for warming up you and your campsite with all your friends around. So with all the different features like the grill, the x-ray mesh, as well as the heat that this fire pit holds but also helps produce, and the construction like the enamel coating to keep this holding up to the elements, this is going to be great for those adventures. But if you want to do something a little bit extra, maybe you want to expand your food options and go past grilling, you then have some other accessories from BioLite that might be helpful with that. You can use the griddle when you want to make eggs or flip pancakes. There's also a utensil kit which will have tongs, a knife, as well as a spatula. And this all is contained in the included case. If you want faster heating or more even cooking, that grill lid fits over your fire pit, has little notches to fit around the fire pit handles. It has its own handles to make it easy to grab. 
and that way since these are coated they're not going to get as hot as the lid. Speaking of heat, you also have this vent here for heat regulation. So you can open this up, let that heat vent out, you can close it and keep whatever you're grilling cooking. This is marketed as a smokeless grill, but in order to get the least amount of smoke, you're going to have to make sure you're using this properly. So make sure that your coals are in the right spot. If they drop down too low, that might produce some smoke. Another thing that may produce smoke is the juices of the food that, that you're cooking. So right now, some of our seasoning is dropping down, so we have a little bit of smoke from the fire, but nothing near if we were cooking over a bonfire or on any other fire pit. The pack operating the fan is going to have a 12,800 milliamp hour battery. This is a decent sized battery that means you can keep this running for up to 30 hours on the low setting. And if you want to, you can also use this to charge your own devices. So you're going to have a USB-A port up top and this is going to be your output port. And when you need to charge your battery, which I recommend doing before you leave for your trip, this is gonna have a micro USB port, and that's gonna be your input port. When you need to clean out your fire pit, at the bottom, there's going to be this slide out tray. Again, I recommend using the fire pit poker, but this will grab on to that tray and lift it out so that you can dump out the ash. Now, when everything is cool, I recommend using a brush if you really want to make sure everything's clean. The fire pit is going to be made of steel with that enamel coat, but you'll also notice this mesh. So this is a good view of the x-ray mesh. That's there so that no matter what angle you're looking at the fire, you're still able to see it. In the dark, it almost looks like there's a fire levitating above since the location of your firewood and the charcoal makes for a very interesting look with that x-ray mesh. Some thoughts while cooking is that I do enjoy the BioLite fire pit. It's been a great experience to be able to just use wood and charcoal and sitting by the fire pit like this isn't really something I could do with other types of bonfires and campfires. I like being able to be close and not have smoke in my face the entire time. Now, it's not entirely smoke free. It's the least amount of smoke that I've seen but hopefully this video helped explain the proper way to use this and that way you can get to the full experience. Now if I was going to compare this with some other options, the first one that comes to mind is the Ignic Fire Can. That is also a portable fire pit, very impressive in how compact but also portable it is. Just like the BioLite Fire Pit, you're able to move it around and you're not limited to a certain area. Now the difference with the Ignic pit though, is that it is a propane fire pit. So you are gonna have to have your own fuel, your own propane to keep it going. Comparing that to the BioLite fire pit where you have the wood, you have the charcoal. If you like to grill, some people prefer this style because it just gives a more authentic look, feel, as well as taste to your food. You get all that without the smoke added. To complete your cooking experience, don't forget about all the different accessories that go with the Fire Pit Plus. Yes, they are add-ons, but I think they're worth it if you wanna cook up all kinds of good food. But today, what we saw was the BioLite Fire Pit Plus right here at eTrailer.com. My name's Evangeline, and I hope you enjoyed the journey. But if you'll excuse me, I've got some chicken kebabs to eat.